In this demonstration we're going to see what happens to moving air near the ground. The Earth rotates about its own axis once a day and because of this air in the atmosphere tends to circle around centres of low pressure rather than moving straight into them. At the Earth's surface the air rubs against the ground and the effect of this surface friction can be seen in a very easily made classroom model. We've got water to stand in for the air and the bottom of this bucket represents the ground. To see the movement near the bottom I'll add a few used tea leaves. These are heavy enough to sink gently to the bottom but light enough to be pushed into motion by the moving water. I'm going to set the water swirling now and we'll watch what happens. The main body of the water just carries on swirling at first, but the water near the bottom is slowed down by friction between the water and the bucket, and then drawn into the low pressure centre. This is one of the ways in which atmospheric lows fill in and lose their identity. We've waited now until the water stopped spinning and the tea leaves have settled. It's a bit more difficult to model what happens with a high pressure system without using a turntable. But we can do something close by letting the water come to a standstill and then spinning the bucket. Watch what happens to the tea leaves this time. So we've seen that, as well as swirling around the centres of pressure, some air near the Earth's surface moves away from high pressure centres and towards low pressure centres. This is one of several effects that cause the atmospheric pressure pattern to evolve.